wherever you're watching me from how are you how have you been yes it's been a long time no face i'm glad to share my face today as usual welcome back to my youtube channel my name is olua kemio sege always excited to share uh, or record a video for your viewing pleasure or even your learning pleasure anyways i hope you've all been well you've all been doing well and doing great with yourself and your family members I just want to again use this opportunity to appreciate you for your time on this channel thank you for your subscription thank you for watching my videos thank you for your likes and thank you for your comments for those of you that do that and for those of you that do not do that yet please do and do share my video it will be very much appreciated thank you so much today i will be doing a wrap i hope it's going to be a short one a short recording of how i create my edible 2d or is it 3d cake toppers this set of cakes are the cakes that i use for edible uh, 2d or 3d cake toppers for i'm going to be showing you how i created them into that format however i need to bring to your attention that I am now going to start from the beginning that I have another video where which I recorded in which I showed how I create my edible images for my cakes so I will drop a link of that video in the description description of this um, recording so that you can go there either refresh your memory or see how I create my edible images for my cakes but for this purpose, I'm just going to focus on creating the cake toppers. So at this point in time, I've already created my edible image or printed of my edible image using my um, my home edible printer. So I have it here. I do have a cake this weekend for my niece. She turned one. So uh, we're having a gathering for her this weekend. And her mom wanted, that's my younger sister, wanted a Deva Neva themed birthday cake for her so i on that cake i do i'm going to be having a cake top of the images of dave and ava on the cake that is after cake toppers so i've already printed those uh the images that's the dave and ava and of course that's my niece then so and, I've, and what you need to do is to just to make sure that you, you've edited your images put it right and printed them up so the next the, the this stage is to show you how i create them into cake toppers where they stand hard on top of the cake so what you're going to need is your edible image you're going to need uh, gum paste i usually use sfp it doesn't matter it depends on what color you're using i if i i usually use um cream or white so that's my um sfp gum paste and of course, I'm going to use my floral wire. I prefer to use something a bit thicker. So I tend to go for 18 gauge or sometimes um, 20 gauge. But I've got either of them here. Whichever one is more flexible for me to use, I will do. And of course, I've got my rolling pin, my small rolling pin to assist me to roll out the uh, gun paste. And I've got my brush. And of course, my edible um gum it is also called piping gel this is what i'm going to be using to apply my edible image onto my gum paste and of course my my as in sugar to, uh, to prevent stickiness and of course one more thing i need to get uh that is my tracks vegetable shortening so i'm going to require that as well so those are what, what, I'm, what I need for the purpose of this video today and as I showed you earlier, I've already printed my images and I have cut them they, this, image, this is an icing sheet, the icing sheet comes like this with a film behind it so I have trimmed off my edible image whilst it is on the, on the, on the film so as you can see what i'm just going to be doing now is to be lift is to lift it up from the sheet as um, gently as i can as you can see it's not coming off yep there you
you go. I believe that's Eva. I'm not sure which one is which. <laughs> I believe that's Eva. So that's my Eva out. And Dave. I've done the same thing with Dave as well. So I've just um, trimmed them on the film. Sorry, trimmed them on the film. And now I'm just simply lifting it up. And that's my Dave. So once I have done that, so this is a better view. Once I have done that, I have um, I, I have this um, paring knife or this um, um, tool, this knife tool that is so sharp. I'm sure if you're a baker, you know what this is useful. So I'm going just going to use it to just again trim. As I'm a perfectionist, I'll say. <laughs> I try to be as perfect as I can. So any, I'm trying to now remove any excess, um, any whitey stuff to cut the, to trim the image as close as possible to the actual picture. So if I have any white stuff relating to the um, page that it was on, I'm getting rid of them as best as I can. But. I'm going to do the same with, um, as you can see with Eva, I hope this is Eva, uh, you can see this white bead here and this white bead here, so it's not perfectly trimmed. I'm going to do that now. By the way, I washed my hands before starting out, so I usually wash my hands before I begin any cake decorating process. If you don't see me washing my hands in any of the videos I do, it is because I have done it before I commenced the video. I don't, I rarely use gloves. That's because I do not find it comfortable to do so. And besides, it's not really a requirement really of um, health and safety. You can have gloves and still transfer germs. So what I tend to do is that I wash my hands as often as I, as necessary. I have just returned from work, that's why I am in my workout fit. And I just wanted to get this out of the way before I begin the actual cake decoration. Okay, so I now have my Ava, Dave and Ava images perfectly trimmed to the picture. You know, it is simply Dave and Ava, no other thing attached to it. Oh. So I've trimmed it as best as I can to the images. So now, I am now going to roll out a piece of my gum paste. You might wonder why I am using gum paste instead of fondant. Yes, you can use fondant, but the thing about fondant is that it's not going to dry. Even if it dries, it's not going to dry hard enough for it to stand on the cake. These toppers I'm doing, they're going to actually stand on the cake. There are different um, uh, brands of gum paste, but this I usually use SFP because my experience with it has been um, good. So sometimes if you don't, I'm using um, vegetable shortening to prevent uh, any stickiness to my hand and also to assist the gum paste soften a bit because it's currently hard. Yeah, as I was saying, an alternative, you can actually, an alternative use to gum paste, because gum paste are actually very expensive. A quantity like this, about 250 grams or thereabout, is about six pounds. So when you have a cake product that requires gum paste, and you wonder why, how expensive that cake quote is, that is because the, mat the cost of the materials are very, very high. An alternative to gum paste is using fondant, but then adding cnc powder cnc <coughs> powder or tylo powder this powder helps your fondant to firm up and possibly harden to your desired texture but i prefer to use gum paste because I, it helps me to achieve the result i want quickly with gum paste depending on how thick your uh, product is or your finished product is it dries within hours so this topper is required tomorrow afternoon so and this is just about 6 p.m 
I expect it to be hardened and ready to place on the cake by tomorrow morning. And another thing you need to be wary of is that with your gum paste, if you don't store them properly and seal them off, if there is a, an entrance for air into it, it will dry hard and to be useless. So it is very important that when you purchase your gum paste, knowing how expensive it is to store it appropriately, seal it. Usually, the one I usually buy is a big pack like that. And it comes in a sealed, in its own sealed pack. So when I'm taking the one I require, I just simply seal it. I just simply seal it. And then fold it. Sometimes I even still further add um, wrap uh, clean film around it. Just to ensure that it is um, airtight. And that's what I would have needed was this um, wire cutting tool. I'm going to require it to cut the wire, the um, the floral wire. This is where my azure sugar comes in. Just to spray a little on the board to prevent stickiness. Although with the vegetable shortening, it would have done so anyway, but. Uh, so I'm just now going to roll out a thin sheet, not very thin, thin enough to dry quickly and thick enough to hold the wire. You don't want to be too thin to the extent that the wire will start breaking through. No, you want to be, you want it to be thick enough for the wire to hold in it. And also thin enough for it to that for it to dry quickly okay that's the goal sometimes you have to use your own self judgment I tend to use my sewing pin but a lot when I'm rolling fondant or any meat um, icing medium that's roll that you can roll this is to get rid of air bubbles mostly in the medium anyway i'm now going to place my images on the rolled out icing or rolled out gum paste to right to actually assess where i'm going to apply my edible right okay so I'm going to apply my piping gel around those areas. I'm trying to be to make it as even as possible. So apply my piping gel. I cut in it to ensure that it covers the area. I'm going to be applying, placing my images on. Make sure it covers the area. I'm going to be placing my images on. This is clear piping gel. It is colorless. Okay. Let's start with Ava. I'm placing Ava now on one side of it. Making sure it is properly stuck onto it. Some people use water. I use piping gel because it sticks better with piping gel. And that's Dave. Both characters are on the gum paste now. With using um, piping gel as adhesive. Now, what I'm now going to do is to now trim it again to size or to image using my sharp knife, tool knife. I call it tool knife, anyways. A sharp knife. I mean, you can use any knife that is sharp that you have. You don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be this particular knife. 
but this is the one I really, I'm used to and it serves a purpose so you're careful that you're, so that you're not dragging the uh, gum paste but you just cut it around the image for now you can trim it off later once you've got a general shape of what you're cutting so I'm just cutting around even now as slowly as I can make sure you don't cut your image any further sometimes as you're cutting the image may want to be lifting off the gun paste you just be careful and put them back okay so there you go I'm cutting even now I'm not being perfect at this stage I'm just doing a general overview a silhouette cut of it make sure you're not pulling yes you can pull make sure you've cut through before you pull so that when you're pulling you're only just pulling off the image so so that's my eva cut to its shape but not properly trimmed i'm going to trim it later but i'm going to put it aside now to trim later and then move on to cutting day again i'm just simply cutting it cutting off the silhouette or the shape of my figure the figure of my uh, image I'm not being I'm not perfect at the moment. I'm not trying to be perfect. Just want to cut off the excess as best as I can, as close to the image as possible. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Try not to pull. I know it appears I'm pulling. Yes, you can sometimes you can avoid pulling, but as best as you can, try not to do that. And once you're doing that. Make sure that um, even if your hand touches the image, that your hand is not wet or with edible glue. Otherwise, you will damage the color on your image. There you go. That's the excess cutter. Um, right. There's a tiny hole here in between Dave's legs. There's a hexagon here. I'm just trying to be as careful as I can again to get to cut it off again that's Dave cut off that's not actually the perfect color of Dave but that was the color my printer was given anyway that's the color um, the image of Dave cut to its silhouette or its figure so I'm now going to trim both um, characters both images to shape that's what I'm going to focus now, focus on now for the next um, few minutes. This might take a while because this requires more attention, focus, and a bit of a steady hand. A bit of a steadier hand. I'd love to read your comment on what you think whilst you're watching. When you finish watching, watching the video i would appreciate it and then eva's hand just fingers on the image so i'm just again trying to trim it to those um, fingers
so those are my images cut to shape as best as I can I'm now going to now proceed to inserting the wire which is going to hold them up on top of the cake I think I'm going to use the 18 gauge wire to ensure that I have a sturdier um, cake I mean sorry topper although 20 gauge we did the same we serve the same purpose but um, I want a sturdier one that's the 18 gauge at the moment it's still a bit floppy it's not dry yet so I still so I can still maneuver it as and so desire so i'm now going to insert the wire which is going to hold it up on top of the cake because i'm using two and if i cut it i'll just cut it into half otherwise the other part will be too useless just cut it into half okay, i'm going to first of all start with eva so i want it to stand up straight this eva is going to stand on top of the cake i don't want it to bend so i need to make it align as to how it's gonna stand so you can insert it from the back so i'm just using my my wire just to try to create a very mild impression to guide me what as i insert my wire so I've created a very mild impression. I'm not sure if you can see it. It's very straight line impression. Just a mild one to give me some kind of guidance as to how, otherwise I may be going left, right, cent left, right, center. But I want to go straight. So I've created that uh, line to assist me and guide me into the image as best as possible. And to make it as straight as possible so I've just inserted the wire now to go beyond the center or the middle of the image this ensures that when it stands it stands straight right it's gone beyond beyond her head you can't see it at the back you cannot see it because I made it a bit thick so that the wire will not cut through and can see so so when it dries it's going to stand like that straight and I'll just simply insert it on top of the cake like that and it'll just appear as if it's the actual image that's sitting on the cake so that's Eva done I'm now again going to proceed to Dave again the same process look for the perfect angle as I want it to stand and then turn it around and ensure that it is totally straight at least beyond the center of the image like so I'm creating a very mild impression to assist and guide me as I insert the wire so that I don't go left right center so I'm going straight into the don't paste using the line I've already impressed as a guide gently not forcefully you don't want to cut through your image or even your carved out gum paste and then you try as much as possible if anyone is coming out unnecessarily this is the time again why it's still very um, pliable to trim them off otherwise when it becomes dry and you try to cut something up, you end up damaging the whole finished product. So that's Dave standing now. If he goes on top of the cake now, he's going to break. He's going to flop and then break into it. So well, that's how we're going to leave it to dry. It's going to dry really hard. You only if it's as um, thinly um rolled up like this it only requires a few hours really so mine is going to dry at least for 12 hours because it's going to dry overnight so i'm going to place it on a cake card so i'm applying icing sugar to prevent it from sticking i don't want when i want to take it off and it's stuck to the board 
and then ends up breaking. So that is Dave, and that is Ava. So they're going to dry for a few hours, and I will restart the recording again when they're dry. And I mean, when I'm about to place it on top of the cake, God's willing, all goes well, and there's no breakage. And then um, you will see how it stands on the cake when it's finished. Okay, I'll see you in a while. Welcome back. So, this is the finished product. Those are the toppers. They're dry now, so they can stand on top of a cake. So, that's the way they are. So, I'm not going to place them on top of my finished cake. So, Goes in here and the Eva comes right here. So that's my finished day. Eva 